Okay, let us understand the concept of written down value. And this is a very important concept insofar as depreciation is concerned. Depreciation for income tax purpose is allowed on written down value. Okay, so unlike a straight line method in which the depreciation is allowed on the original cost of the asset, we follow the written down value method for income tax purposes. So let us first understand as to what is this written down value method. Let's say A acquired plant and machinery on 1-4-2010 for rupees 10 lakh. Okay. Now, there could be two methods which could be used for depreciation, straight line method and written down value method. So on 31-3-2011, when I compute my depreciation, the value of the asset is 10 lakh. And let's say the useful life is equal to 10 years. Now, if I were to use the straight line method of depreciation, what would happen is that I would divide this 10 lakh by 10 and I will get a depreciation of 1 lakh rupees per annum. So I would charge 1 lakh every year from year 1 to so on till the 10th year and end of it I will have zero value. However, this is not something which we look at when we follow the straight line method. So in a straight line method, we kind of just divided the cost by 10 and spread it over the useful life of the asset. In a written down value method, what happens is, let's say the depreciation is to be calculated at the rate of 10%. So in year 1, I will charge depreciation of 1 lakh. And at the end of year 1, that is on 31, 2012, my written down value of the asset after charging depreciation of 1 lakh will be 10 lakh minus 1 lakh or 9 lakh. So this will also become my opening written down value as on 1 4 2011. For the year 2011, I will again charge depreciation at the rate of 10%, but now it has to be on the value of 9 lakh and not 10 lakh. So in a return down value, what you do is, on year to year basis, you reduce the amount of depreciation from the opening value and whatever is the amount that you get, that becomes the return down value for the next year. So at 10%, my depreciation will be 90,000. And my WDV as on would be 8,10,000. So this is the concept of written down value. Now let's get back to the text. Written down value for an asset acquired in the previous year means the actual cost of the asset to the assessee. So suppose I would have acquired an asset during 2011 for 10 lakh, then the written down value of this asset which is acquired during that year is going to be 10 lakh only. There is no reduction. For other assets, which means assets which are not acquired due for assets acquired in the year, this is the value. For assets which are not acquired during the year, it has to be calculated in the following manner. Opening written down value of the block A, which in my example was let's say 8 lakh 10,000 at the end of year 2, you can scroll back to see this value. Add actual cost of assets falling within the block acquired during the previous year. Now suppose in 2012, I buy one more plant and machinery for 2 lakh. So I will add 2 lakh here. This has to be 
added. Less money received receivable in respect of an asset which is sold. So what happens is suppose I acquired this 10 lakh plant and machinery and I sold some part of it by for say rupees 3 lakh. And this money is either received or receivable for an asset which is sold, discarded or destroyed during the previous year. So let's say I received 3 lakh rupees for the plant and machinery which was sold during the particular year. I will do the addition of all these three and that will become my written down value for the purpose of depreciation for year ended 2013 less depreciation at prescribed percentage. So if it is 10% then I claim 71,000 as depreciation and my closing value of the block of asset will become 6,39,000. So this is the closing written down value. So this is the way in which you compute your depreciation based on the written down value. Two things for a new asset written down value is the cost at which you acquired during the particular year. For other assets the written down value is actually the opening value of the block of assets during that particular year. You take a sum of these two from that reduce whatever money you received in respect of any particular asset which is sold or discarded or destroyed scraps sales revenue and then you get your closing written down value on which you apply the prescribed percentage to get depreciation for a particular year.